Hey guys, it's Connor here from Connor O'Shea Fitness. In today's video, I'm gonna run through a quick five minute hip mobility routine. Chances are, if you've been sitting at a desk for most of your life, you're gonna have tight hips. And I'm gonna go through some movements that are gonna open up the front, the side, the back, and the inner part of the hip. So each movement, we're going to apply 10 pulses and then do a static hold. Ideally, you will repeat the process three times. Today, I'm just gonna repeat it once just because of the video length. And you know, if you can do this, two or three times a week, that would be fantastic. If you can do it daily, it's gonna be a game changer for you. So the first exercise is called the Modified Pigeon. These movements are all from GMB's Focus Flexibility course, which is a fantastic course I'd recommend. And setting up for the Modified Pigeon, you wanna get yourself in a ideally 90 degrees in a front leg. And then a lot of people will be quite tight through the hip. So this could be quite an uncomfortable position initially. So what I'd recommend first and foremost is to get that back knee touching the front heel. And a lot of times that will take the tension off that hip. If you find this knee is up in the air quite a lot, you wanna just think about hinging forwards more until that knee touches the ground. If you are very, very tight and this is still difficult, you can put a yoga block or a cushion underneath that front hip on this side. Uh, from there, you're going to keep a straight back and then you're gonna focus on going on 10 uh, pulses or 10 movements forwards and backwards. And then on the 10th rep, you're gonna do a static hold. So let's just say eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm holding it statically in this position. And in order to get a better stretch in the, in the position, I'm going to actively push my front ankle and knee into the ground. I'm also thinking about my sternum being in line with either my front knee, my front shin, or my front foot. Front knee is gonna make it easier. The more I go inwards, the more intense the stress, uh, stretch is gonna be as well. So then I would repeat that for two more sets of 10, and then I would switch to the other side. Okay, so from there, we're gonna go into a hip flexor stretch. This is a fantastic stretch as well for those of you who are spending a lot of time sitting. And from here, roughly 90 degrees in the front knee, you wanna bring the back knee back to the point of uh, feeling a bit of a stretch in the front hip. So you might need to go back a bit further or in a bit closer. That's gonna be dependent on how flexible you are and how tight the hip is in general. So from there, we're going to then focus on squeezing this glute, tightening your core, and that's just gonna make sure that the movement is coming from the hip flexor and not from the lower back. You'll see a lot of people will relax all this area and then just kind of arch their back into it. You're not really getting benefits from that and you're definitely not targeting your hip flexors. So think about squeezing that back glute, abs are tight, and then you're going to, again, lean forwards and backwards for 10 reps. So from here, let's just say again, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're gonna do a static hold, squeeze the back glute, core is tight. If you wanna get more out of the stretch, you can reach your arm up and then even more again, you would reach away. So I'm reaching away from the camera now. And now this is getting up through the side of my body as well as the hip flexor. Okay, so from there, we're gonna move into the adductor. And from here, you're on all fours. Then you're gonna put one leg out to the side and hinging backwards and forwards. Your foot position can be you know, externally rotated or down the ground. This can be quite a challenging position for people at the start. So you might wanna just manage you know, the position of your knee where it is uh, in, in relation to the rest of the body. And then you're just gonna go very gently forwards and backwards, just getting as much movement into this part of the, the hip as possible, so the adductors. And again, 10 times on the 10th rep here, you're gonna stop at the tightest part. So it could be on the way back, it could be on the way forward, wherever it is, you're gonna make that stop for 10 times. And then the last movement is a hamstring stretch. So from here, again, people might find it uncomfortable with the knee, so you can put cu cushions under the knee to make it more comfortable for you. And then from here, again, we wanna try and make sure that our back is nice and straight and then you're going to hinge forwards and backwards 10 times. Now, if this is 
uh, very tight or challenging for you. You can have, you know, two little tables here, two chairs here, two yoga blocks here, anything that's going to support yourself a bit more. You can also bend that front knee a bit if you're feeling very tight as well. So we'll just again say eight, nine, 10, static hold. When we're doing the static hold, we want to really think about straightening the back and lengthening up through the crown of the head. And again, when you're doing the static holds, you're holding from anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. So, you know, in a perfect world, you would do each movement uh, 10 reps, static hold for 10 to 30 seconds and repeat three times. But really anything is better than nothing. So even if you just did each one for one round, you still get great uh, hip mobility benefits. So thank you for watching. I'd also like you to comment or like it if you like the video. And I'd like to let, let you know that I'm starting a new program on April 13th. And this program is specifically for 50s plus who want to improve their mobility um flexibility and also drop up to five kilos over 60 days so if this is something you're interested in you can comment 50 below in the comments and i'll send you through the details thanks for watching